Well, as Democrats in North Carolina prepare to hold their unity dinner this weekend, the future of the presidential race is in question. Yeah, President Biden says that he plans to resume campaigning next week, even as calls from within the party continue to grow for him to drop out. Capitol reporter Michael Hyland is live for us in Raleigh tonight. And Michael, Governor Roy Cooper continues to be mentioned as a possible running mate for Vice President Harris, should she become the nominee. Right. The two of them headlined a rally here in North Carolina on Thursday, but both continuing to call for President Biden to be reelected. A new report shows Governor Cooper is a top potential running mate for the vice president if she does indeed become the candidate at the top of the ticket. But another name is also gaining a lot of traction. As more Democrats in Congress go public this week with their pleas for President Biden to get out of the race, Governor Roy Cooper praised both him and Vice President Kamala Harris. I know that she gets the job done, and I know that she and Joe Biden need four more years to finish the job. Alex Bolton is a senior staff writer for The Hill. He reports a decision on Biden's future is expected in the coming days. Governor Cooper is on a short list of people to potentially run alongside Vice President Harris. But he says Washington Democrats are now pointing more so to Arizona Senator Mark Kelly. You know, the Democrats don't think that North Carolina is really in play in this presidential race, and they think Arizona is more in play. And I think that's why Mark Kelly probably has uh, the inside track at this point. Cooper has tried to tamp down speculation about this, telling me last week he does not think it's helpful. Stephen Green is an expert on state politics at NC State. What he's saying, what he's doing at this point um, is, you know, shall we say what a, what a savvy politician would be doing in, in terms of not trying to get too far out in front of things. President Biden and his campaign continue to say he is staying in. Bolton says a large majority of Democrats in Congress privately are concerned about Biden's ability to win, even if most won't say that publicly. Well, this really is a, a Jekyll and Hyde story. People say one thing in public and they're saying something totally different privately. While additional Democrats in Congress today called on President Biden to get out of the race, none of those people are from North Carolina. Angela? Well, Michael, former, uh, former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi will be in Raleigh tomorrow. What do we expect to hear from her? Yeah, she's going to be at the state Democratic Party's unity dinner, giving that keynote speech tomorrow night. Reports indicate that she has spoken with President Biden privately about concerns she has about the polling and what would happen if he does indeed remain in the race and the impact that could have on the Democrats ability to try to retake the House. She has not publicly called for him to get out of the race. So she'll be talking tomorrow, trying to motivate Democrats here in North Carolina, all while we all know this broader conversation is happening within the party. All right, Michael, thanks so much. We appreciate it.